Well, so leaders pushing for high-speed rail service through Fort Wayne hope city money will help fund a study for the project. $200,000 is what they hope the city will chip in. News Channel 15's Randy Spieth joins us now with more on whether the push for high-speed rail service is picking up any steam. Heather, this railway would go from Chicago to Columbus, Ohio and have stops in Fort Wayne and Warsaw, among others. This study is a big next step in getting passenger rail back in the Summit City. Right now, the closest place for passenger rail service is here in Waterloo. Leaders of the Northeast Indiana Passenger Rail Association hope that changes by 2020 with a high-speed rail service that stops in Fort Wayne at the downtown Baker Street Station. It's an ideal place because next door is CityLink Central Station. We're building an area where all transportation will come in, the transit area, and the next, the next thing to do for that along the way will be to connect with the airport. The next hurdle to clear is a federally mandated environmental impact study. It could take as long as two years to complete. We're going to have more trains, and they're going to be running instead of 55 miles per hour, 110 miles per hour. And we do have to build some passing tracks, some signals, some overpasses. So there is concern what that does to the environment, what that does to the communities. While city council has not made a decision on approving the $200,000, tonight's meeting was filled with supporters of the rail service. And Council President Tom Didier says the council appears to be in favor of helping fund the study. I think Jeff's on the right track of where he wants to go with this, but at the same time, I think we have to be uh, optimistically cautious to make sure that the funding that we're going to utilize is used in the proper manner. There's a lot of support for this. We've had two rallies with more than 800 people in each one. City Council is expected to vote on the funding on whether or not to fund the study in two weeks. And leaders hope to see the study start by the end of the year, but it could take as long as two years to complete. In Studio 15, Randy Spieth, News Channel 15.